Hi everyone, my name is Shane Moore from the Faculty of Graduate and Postdoctoral Studies at UBC Vancouver. In this video, I will be talking about the types of graduate programs we offer, explaining some of the key characteristics and differences between program types. The aim is to help you understand the range of graduate programs we have and find the program that fits your goals. The focus here will be on the master's level. That's because all doctoral programs, e.g. PhD, DMA, EdD, are what we call thesis required programs and lead to a dissertation as a culmination of your scholarly work. This, the dissertation establishes your ability to conduct research with rigor and proficiency. So all doctoral programs are thesis required with a focus on in-depth research. But what about master's programs? At the master's level, UBC offers thesis required thesis optional and course-based options. Thesis required masters require students to conduct original research and produce a thesis that puts the research into scholarly context, describes the methods of inquiry and presents and analyzes the results. These programs are usually two to three years in length. They are research focused. Thesis optional masters allow you to either choose to conduct research and write a thesis or to complete a major project, an internship, lab rotation or similar. Course-based programs do not have the option to write a thesis. Instead, after working through a series of courses, you complete the program, sometimes ending with a capstone project, final paper, or similar. These programs may include research elements embedded in courses, such as group projects or individual research-based assignments. Some of these programs may offer internships or field experience, and professionally oriented course-based programs may mandate prior professional experience uh, for admission. Whichever path you take, the depth and sophistication of your work will be a step up from what you did as an undergraduate. At the graduate level, students develop deeper abilities in creating new knowledge and in rigorously analyzing and using information and data. For thesis-based programs, i.e. thesis required and thesis optional, you'll be expected to take the initiative in your learning and bring your ideas forward on your research plan. All thesis-based programs require a faculty member as a supervisor of your research. While these programs may include some coursework, particularly at the beginning of the program, a large part of the program will be, be devoted to your research project. In course-based master's programs, your study will be more guided based on a set curriculum of courses with required and elective course choices. These programs tend to have a set program length. Courses may include research components either independently or in a group setting. These programs will typically be cohort based, so you will move through the program with the same group of fellow students for at least a portion of the program. As I mentioned, course based programs may end with a final project, a capstone or a graduating paper. Completion occurs after all of the coursework and program requirements are met. It's not common to move from a course based masters to a PhD and course based masters are sometimes described as terminal degrees. This means that such programs are not normally intended as a basis for doctoral study and instead are geared towards the next steps in your career progression, enabling you to further your career or embark on a new pathway. Masters level thesis based programs are a great way to either do in depth work on a given topic uh, prior to launching your career or as a stepping stone toward a doctoral degree. Typically in Canada, students complete a master's program before starting a doctoral, doctoral program. However, some programs, more often in the natural sciences and health fields, may offer fast track options that allow you to transition directly into a second year of a PhD after an initial year in the master's program. Under certain conditions, direct entry into a doctoral program, e.g. after a bachelor with honors program, can also be considered. Doing a thesis-based master's, however, is a great way to prepare for a PhD as you'll develop your research skills and will be able to point to your master's thesis as evidence of your research qualifications. The table here on the screen summarizes the program types that I've mentioned. You can search and see a list of these programs on our graduate degree programs page by search and also search by program type. Um, so you'll find thesis required and thesis optional categories. The link to our graduate degree programs page and, the, and other resources can be found in the comments uh, below. Other graduate level programs at UBC are graduate certificates and graduate diplomas. These are shorter programs, often online or hybrid, that typically focus on career development or professional practice skills. Comparable to course-based masters, these have a set curricula that require either 9 to 15 credits of coursework for certificates or 16 to 28 credits of, for diplomas. Some of these graduate level programs are designed to ladder into master's programs, meaning that after the completion of such a program, courses are fully transferable into the affiliated master's program. 
I hope this has provided some clarity about the different types of program we have at UBC. It's really important to look beyond the name and understand the type of program you're interested in. So make sure you find the program that suits your long-term aims and allows you to follow your passions. Remember, as I mentioned, you can search all of our programs and filter by degree level, also by course base, thesis optional and thesis required programs on our graduate degree programs page. Good luck with your research. Goodbye for now.